what excitement across the street from my house. I bet you it's just a carbon monoxide detector. Damn! They all acting like that's an active shooter around here or something. That's what happens when you live in a small town, guys. If there's one call, a whole damn county comes out here. Hey guys, it's Henry from Mowers and Blowers. I'm uh, driving my uh, van for the first time today. Um, I had to drive my wife to the train station. She has to go to the city for something, whatever. And uh, I'm going in to uh, see my cousin to pick up a snowblower and then bringing it over to give it to my friend in Queens. Uh, anyway, so I was just looking through the engine compartment uh, while I was taking out those stickers and stuff, right? And uh, I, I was looking at the dipsticks and stuff. So there's a dipstick on the middle part to the right of the engine. And then there's another dipstick to the left with another son of a gun. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, just getting used to all this uh, stuff over here. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so uh, yeah, and, and then um, so I <laughs> I thought it was the oil dips. I thought it was the transmission dipstick because it was just like so thin. You know what I mean? And so um, I saw that it needed a, a, a smidgen of uh, fluid because it was at the add, not the full. You know. So I poured about half a quart of uh, automatic transmission fluid in there. I thought it was the transmission. Turns out I poured the transmission fluid into the, uh, well, you know. Anyway, uh, then I read about it and they said that it's not a big deal to have that. You know, uh, they said in the olden days they used to put one quart of uh, transmission fluid in the oil to help clean out the sludge of what they said anyway so they said don't worry about it at all at least these are all the forums you know saying that you know some people put a whole quart of uh, ATF fluid in there before an oil change and so I said well you know how long can you drive it for that way you know I mean I just drove like 20 30 miles from Long Island to Queens you know so uh, I mean I'm hoping it's okay I'm gonna go to a uh, get an oil change right now because I'm not gonna take any chances I mean it seems to run really well you know I mean, it's mineral oil. Isn't ATF mineral oil? Anyway, I'm sure it's okay. I'm over at my cousin's house here in uh, Port Washington. I had, uh, came by to uh, bring this uh, snowblower to... Uh, well, he got a new snowblower. I gave him this years ago. So I'm taking it back. But instead of me keeping it, I'm going to go and bring it to my friend Kenny, who lives in uh, Bayside. He needs one. He just had a baby, and he definitely needs one. He still shovels. Can you believe that? He still shovels. It uh, needs some attention, but uh, whatever, man. I believe it still works well. And then at the same time, my cousin says, "Hey, I need. I I have a guy who wants to buy my rims. Can you take them for me and bring it to your mom's house, and I'll have the guy meet you there because I'm working." I said, "Yeah, sure." Some BMW rims. Anyway, it's kind of cool because, you know, I'm putting the rims here so I can, you know, access it easily, you know, instead of having to go through one way. So it's really cool how there's a side door area where I can access it and there's a rear door area where I can access it. Did you, did you just make me something? Uh, okay. No, 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 no ketchup, no ketchup. Thank you. That's, uh, Eric's, my cousin's wife, um, making me eggs. Isn't that cool? Anyway, uh, off to a oil change. Get that, get rid of that ATF fluid. Twenty-four ninety-nine coupon for an oil change, man. What a. Deal. So I'm over here at Great Neck, Long Island. I'm at one of these Valvoline instant oil change places. I got one of them online coupons for twenty-four ninety-five, man. Now that's a deal, $24.95 for a coupon, you know what I'm saying, for an oil change. 
I mean, I had done Pep Boys before, but Pep Boys ain't no good, you know what I'm saying? They didn't even rotate my tires when I asked them to, you know? But, uh, yeah, this van's coming along, man. I drove it all the way from uh, Huntington to Great Neck. I've probably driven it 30, 40 miles today. AC works great. I actually transported some rims and a uh, snowblower to my buddy in Bayside, Queens. So yeah, man, my next step is uh, I'm going to get a couple of fuses. The OBD2 um, doesn't work when you plug it in. So I heard it was like a cigarette lighter or accessory fuse or something like that. And uh, so I'll, I'll take care of that. And I also want to get some uh, some more Mockenberger's uh, adhesive removal spray. But then a lot of people commented on my video and told me I should try Goof Off or Goo Off, something like that. Well, I'm going to try a bottle of that and another bottle of Motzenber Motzenberger's. Motzen... Whatever the hell that thing was. So I'm going to try that. After I get my $24.95... Uh, Oil change. I know it's going to be a little bit more because uh, for vans and stuff, it's probably another quart of oil. So uh, for you guys who've never been to New York or Long Island, this is uh, Northern Boulevard between Queens and Long Island. It's uh, one of the main streets, not not a highway, just a main street. There are a lot of car dealerships here. That's uh, Morton Steakhouse over there. Some people say it's even more expensive than Peter Luger's. Down that way is Manhasset, very expensive area. Mostly doctors and dentist offices over there. So I usually don't like taking my stuff over to these, um, you know, Jiffy Loop type places, but honestly, it's uh, I'm kind of in a jam. I don't want to wait too long, you know, so. Ah, AC. So I've been at this for a couple of hours. It really sucks. This door's done. And the majority of this half is done. I still have some more to do. It's not easy. I mean, it's easier with this crap, but it's not easy. I mean, I want to get it spotless, you know what I'm saying? Like that. And there's still going to be some residue over here, you know, and I want to get it off. That's just the way I am. I have a problem, I know. But uh, other than that, man, uh, isn't that amazing? Oh, that looks great. So uh, I'm going to call it a day. I had a long day. Got a thunderstorm brewing over here. I better get inside. Anyway, uh, a fun project? Definitely not. Interesting? A little bit. I just want to get it done, right? Anyway, see you guys next time. On Mowers and Blowers. Made it in just in the nick of time. Follow me on Instagram, guys, at Moore's Blowers. Check out my website, mooresblowers.com. Subscribe, like, follow. Appreciate all the support, guys.